Hi guys, Saran here. So in this video, I am going to teach you 20 high frequency vocab words which are very important and are often asked in various uh, competitive exams like IPAT, CAT, GRE and all these exams. Alright. So let us start. The first uh, word is babble. So what do you mean by babble? Meaning is talk foolishly or like a child so if you talk foolishly or you talk like a child then it is called that you are babbling then you are babbling all right so they are just a babbling bumbling band of baboons so there is one uh, figure of speech which you see here that is uh, alliteration and uh, yeah babbling is has been used there so this is a dialogue from a harry potter movie if you have seen that so they're just a babbling bumbling band of baboons all right then the next is banal what do you mean by banal so banal means try or Commonplace. In other words, boring. The thing which is boring is banal. Alright. Some latest rap songs are banal in their composition. So they are banal in their composition. That means that uh, they are the same old boring stuff. Here you can see in this image. Same old boring stuff. That is what banal means. Okay. Then the next one is barbaric. What do you mean by barbaric? So barbaric means uncivilized or primitive or cruel. So we often say barbar uh, barbaric acts. Barbaric acts. So what are the barbaric acts? He carried out barbaric acts in the name of war so when there is war people do you know commit heinous crime so this is what war is and uh, this is barbaric all right so people are being killed mercilessly there is no mercy at all so that is called being barbaric all right then the next one is bashful what do you mean by bashful so bashful means easily embarrassed so embarrassed how like uh, there is some person who is very shy and uh, uh, you know so shy that he cannot even ask for any help or you know the, like it is perfectly portrayed by this this picture here so this is called being bashful this is everything you needed to know but have been too bashful to ask so some person only needed to know a very little thing and but he was too shy to ask for any help so that is called being bashful all right then the next one is berserk what do you mean by berserk so berserk is in in or into a violent rage or frenzy here the keyword are rage and frenzy a violent rage and frenzy all right a man went berserk with an arsenal of guns so like hulk when uh, you know hulk starts smashing so he goes berserk he's out of control he's angry and that is what it is called being berserk then the next one is bestial what do you mean by bestial so bestial means like a beast a beast or you know you can say animal like so what something which is animal like or someone which is animal like is called bestial darwin's revelations about our bestial beginning are accepted worldwide you know so uh, darwin says that we have evolved from uh, apes so apes are you know bestial they are animals so 
that is what our bestial beginnings are animal like beginnings okay the next one is bizarre what do you mean by bizarre bizarre means odd or grotesque and they can be at the same time or either one of those all right so bizarre is something you know in the simple terms i can say that uh, something very strange all right something strange is bizarre something uh, you know which uh, you haven't seen all right so i can't believe we are getting involved in something so bizarre so strange and treacherous treacherous is another word we should remember treacherous also means you know a cruel act a cruel act a an act of cruelty is called a treacherous all right so something so strange and so bizarre so you look at this picture and uh, obviously it would seem strange a horse head on a man so that is you know bizarre that is strange all right then the next is blemish what do you mean by blemish blemish is to mar or spoil or a defect all right and it can be you know uh, done uh, intentionally intentionally or you know uh, it can be there you know naturally and not done by anyone else it, it was already there so his reign as a world champion has been blemished by the controversy so there was some uh, you know sports person some uh, i would say player and uh, uh he was a world world champion but uh, his career his reputation has been blemished his ha reputation has been spoiled by a controversy all right so next one is brazen what do you mean by brazen so brazen means bold and shameless and especially used in a negative uh, you know context a negative context so uh, he went about his illegal business with a brazen assurance so he was not at all shameless but but instead uh, the opposite of that he was bold in conducting the illegal business that is called brazen another uh, you know the literal meaning of brazen is made from brass something which is made from brass is uh, you know also brazen okay then the next is backlog now this we are all familiar with what a backlog is an accumulation or a reserve you know but uh, in generally in college we don't uh, reserve our exams for later on they just get accumulated because we have failed that is what backlog is he wasn't able to clear his backlogs before the placement season now this is a typical example of what backlogs are all right then the next one is badger so what do you mean by badger so badger means to nag or to annoy okay to nag or to annoy his mother kept badgering him kept nagging him for taking a bath so we are we all are in the lockdown and you know some of us don't take don't bath regularly but our mothers keep back uh, you know keep badgering us he you know take a bath every day so that is what badgering is but badger is also an uh, animal it's a small a white and uh, white and black animal with uh, you know white and black animal uh, uh, it has white stripes over it and uh, it generally eat, uh, eats small insects and uh, these things it is also an animal all right next is bait what do you mean by bait so bait as you can see in the picture is when somebody you know wants to catch a fish he uses this this particular uh, thing this is a bait this is a bait all right so bait me bait also means to persecute but 
mainly it means a piece of food put in a trap to attract prey. Now this is the literal meaning. All right, this is literal meaning. But you know, uh, sometimes uh, we also put people in certain situations as bait, as you can uh, you know it is seen in movies. So he used a goat as a bait to lure in the tiger. Now he wanted to catch a tiger, and uh, he used a goat as a bait. All right. Then baleful. What do you mean by baleful? So harmless, harmful, or ominous is something which is baleful. Uh, it is you know also called evil. Something which is evil is also baleful uh, as appropriately you know you can uh, see from this picture this is a pirate flag and uh, all over the world this uh, particular uh, uh, you know pirate flag uh, is a sign of evil and uh, something ominous so bill shot a baleful an evil an ominous glance in her direction so bill looked at her in an evil way all right like he was going to murder her the next is bark. Now this is very relatable to our scenario or scenarios all over the world. Bark means obstacle or to intentionally get in the way. Alright. So you can see here uh, the picture of uh, parliament. Alright. And you can see here people, you know, M M MPs uh, obstructing the process. All right. So some politicians were barking at the newly proposed bill. So there was a bill that was proposed, but some people were intentionally getting in the way, and they were, you know, they they were just, uh, you know, they didn't want it to pass. So they were barking at it. All right. So the next is barrage. What do you mean by barrage? Barrage means a heavy attack or an artificial obstacle built across a river. So, if there is an artificial, you know, there is a, uh, you know, a canal and uh, uh, the, the water supply has to be controlled. So, they build a barrage uh, in the, uh, you know, in between that uh, canal. So, they, they can, you know, lower it and raise it to control the water flow that is one thing uh, and the other thing is a heavy attack like you know tanks and artillery when they fire at the same time so that is called basically a barrage of uh, shells and fire all right the opponent opened fire with a barrage of artillery shells as can be seen in this image okay then the next is barren now this everybody knows what is barren barren means a lifeless or infertile so mars is a barren planet okay then the next is bask what do you mean by bask bask means to enjoy warmth and light so he went on basking enjoying in the glory of his first book so he has written his first book and it was you know seeing some success so he was basking in the glory he was enjoying the warmth of the glory and you know this particular uh, uh, reptile so what it is doing it is this reptile is basking in the warmth of the sun because reptiles as we all know are cold blooded so they need warmth of the sun for uh, their day to day activities all right in order to do their day to day activities they need warmth of the sun so this reptile is basking in the sunlight all right taking a sun bath then next is beacon this is also a very familiar word beacon beacon is a light used for warning or guiding all right a command the commander ordered the platoon to move towards the beacon all right there was a beacon so the commander ordered everybody to move towards that particular source of light all right then the next is benediction what do you mean by benediction uh, benediction uh, well basically it is something that promotes goodness or well-being but it is also a prayer 
which is offered in church all right a, a prayer which is offered in church is also called a benediction so uh, generally prayers you know are uh, something prayers are something which promotes goodness and well being so that is the basic meaning he dismissed the congregation with a benediction with a prayer so this is particularly a benediction all right then the next is benefactor what is a benefactor benefactor is a person who has given help in terms of money someone who has given help in terms of money or maybe goods or maybe you know any other help but def definitely in monetary terms only so a low interest loan from a benefactor allowed them to build a floor for the exhibition hall all right so that is a benefactor who has given money uh, you know at a low interest rate so this was it for this video and uh, i'll be back with some new words uh, which are which would be high frequency only and uh, those words would be from the alphabet c all right so this was from b those will be from c thank you